So what kind of uh, parts can you make with uh, 3D printing in rubber and is it scalable? Well, uh, let's talk about it just a little bit. So 3D printing has been able to make rubber parts forever. This is uh, thermoplastic polyurethane, uh, which is TPU. Um, so is this. This is a robot gripper. This is a headphone earmuff right there. So these parts are actually really quite phenomenal because they're able to take advantage of the process in a number of different ways. This one, of course, could be extruded if you wanted to, um, but it's way easier to produce a finished finger than to make a die and get them all produced and then find out the design is wrong. You can make tens of thousands of these with printing and it's not that big of a deal. And then you get this cool feature right here where it bends around whatever you're pushing on. It's kind of nifty. But uh, printing with TPU is uh, a little bit more expensive than using injection molding generally, depending on what the part is. Um, but it can mass produce these types of parts. But the best thing about 3D printing with this type of rubber is that you can use the printing process to change how hard the rubber is. This is the same material, different colors, but same material. This one is pretty rigid and tough and fairly stiff because it's basically solid all the way through, even though it's got the ridges. This part is exceptionally pliable and is soft enough to be a comfortable earmuff. The reason this is possible is because we're utilizing uh, this pattern right here to basically take the flexibility of the material and stretch it even further so that the small, it, we basically lay down a feather bed of the material in a very thin set of lines and layers and patterns to weave together this thread and 3D printed structure so that it's soft while still being rigid if we wanted to make this solid. If this was solid, you could drive a car over it and it wouldn't deform very much. Um, but since we are able to control the actual structure of the part itself down to a very macro, microscopic level to where we have these hairline depositions of material in this neat pattern that is unmachinable and unmoldable, we're able to create this really soft structure from the same base material. So 3D printing allows a lot more control of how a part behaves than many other machining processes. So if you're looking for a quote for your GPU project and you're looking for something like this, the thing to do is to design the shape of the muff and then kind of tell us what durometer, what softness you want. Uh, and then we can go through and discuss with you, do some sample prints and generate these patterns so that you have this really soft part. Um, so 3D printing offers a huge advantage in this ability because you're able to create this type of stuff which just has never been possible before. So that's one of the cool things about uh, 3D printing with uh, rubbers and uh, TPU.